Hey guys, it's Frances, and I recently uploaded a video where I showed you some products that were sent to me by Beauty Big Bang, and I have a discount code for them. I will link it probably on the screen as well as in the description bar below. It will give you 10% off of everything on their site. I don't get anything from it, but um, you guys will get 10% off, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this is one of their XL plates. They come in either a pack of eight different plates, and I showed you all those plates in that video. Um, so if you want to check them out, go back and look, because I will only be covering this plate in this video. Um, this is XL003, so this is the third plate in the series. And as you can see, it comes in a paper cover, like this one, a sleeve. So all the sleeves are, in di are different. Most of the sleeves are different and they're beautiful. It's got their Instagram information on the back and it's also got all of their information on how to stamp here. Although I don't think it's very easy to figure out how to stamp by looking at instructions like that. Um, these are exactly the same size as a Born Pretty plate. You can see they're backed in much the same way. Um, I will show you the back of the other one in a second. Born Pretty Plates, Bundle Monster Plates, Queen Plates, they're pretty much all the same size. Um, so it's going to fit really well in one of those holders. Here's a look at the back of the plate. It's got the name on the back, Beauty Big Bang, stamping plate, and it's got their website on the back in case you forgot. And it comes with this blue protective film on it, which I'm going to remove. The, the key to this is to pull up something on the corner. There we go. I use my nails sometimes, but I'm not going to today. And then just peel up the end. I like to hold it down so you don't bend it. And it does not look like there's any residue on it, but you must remove this before you stamp. And it's helpful that it's blue, that way you remember to do it. And then what I do is I will take a cotton ball soaked in acetone and just go over in case there is any residue. Now I briefly showed you this plate in that other video. Um, I'm going to go over it again, but this one is very floral, very whimsical, very, um, not whimsical, but very ethereal, kind of earthy. Um, there's a lot of florals to it. There's some rose images. There's some butterfly images. There's some clover images. Plus there's some um, filigree and things like that on there. And there's this really cool negative positive image, which I think I might be using today in a design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my stampers. And I am not going to do these on nails. I'm going to do this one image on my own nails, but I'm not going to be doing this on individual nails. Um, I'm just going to show you the images because they are very large images, so they should fit pretty well on your nails. I, It's not a question of size of the design, so I'm not too worried about placing them on fake nails. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some stamping polish. Well, I think I'm going to grab some funky fingers so I can check it with my funky fingers and I will be right back. So I have a bottle of funky fingers dark night and I'm going to be using that to pick up the images and I'll show it to you um, on the stamper as well as I will probably stamp it onto my lint roller and show you what that looks like. So that you can see some of the images and like I said I'll do a design at the end. I will speed this up in the interest of time and sanity. I will speed it up and just give you a look at the individual images.
Okay, so I'm going to I'm about to do a really quick design with this plate, but my final thoughts on this plate actually um as you saw, I switched from my Funky Fingers Dark Knight to the Beauty Big Bang Black. Um, I just think the nature of this plate, it's actually really well etched, but there are some really fine lines. You can hear the etching. There are some really fine lines just because of the nature of the designs on this plate that I think would benefit you much more to use a stamping polish rather than, like a, sta a polish that's intended for stamping that might not dry as quickly that will be a little bit more opaque and a little bit easier to pick up um, than using one that's not really intended for stamping because the Funky Fingers one can definitely dry a little bit more quickly. It works fine on the um, the designs that don't have such big lines to them or such fine lines to them, but some of the more fine line ones like this one and this one, it struggled a little bit more. This one has some very fine lines in it as well. Um, so it just, as you saw when I switched over, it was much better. And some of them too, the ones with the really fine lines, I tend to just put a stripe of polish at the top and scrape. But if it has really fine lines like these, I think I, you would be best to cover at least half the image, if not the entire image when you're, before you're scraping. Um, so those are my thoughts on this, but the, the images are beautiful and there's some really unique, really individual images. And I was going to do this one before, but now I'm kind of stumped as to which one I want to do. Um, I kind of really want to... I'm going to go with a yellow base. And I think I'm going to go with this image right there. And, and I'm trying to decide what color I'm going to stamp over it. I'm going to go ahead off camera and put um, a, some coats of Towel Me About It, which is an OPI. It's a very pale yellow color. Um, and then I will stamp a color on top of it. I haven't decided which one yet. Let me put this on off camera and then I will decide. Okay, I'm going to be going with double stamping with this image. Sally Hansen Insta Dry Sonic Bloom and Snappy Sorbet. And I'm going to be using the same Farm Pretty stamper. And I'm using a Sephora card as a scraper. And I'm going to do a couple images. I'll speed it up and then I will finish the rest off camera and come back with my final look. And I've messed this one up so I'm hoping that it will cover it up in stamping. Let's see. course I would try to double stamp this image. This is not the easiest image to double stamp just because of the nature of the image. One thing I will tell you if you're going to be using regular polishes with these finer line images, um, scrape lightly, pick up lightly. So what I did was a soft rolling motion and it picked up way better than trying to push down too hard on the image. And this was the look that I came up with. Um, my double stamping on this nail did cover the mess up but it was not as precise as this one so I went ahead and went with it and this nail my ring nail is not as precise as my pinky so I just decided I was gonna go ahead and go with it <laughs> if you can't beat them join them right so this is my final look for this design um, for this plate stay tuned to see the other plates in the series um, I will put somewhere and link the other reviews that I have done for these plates in the comments, not the comments, in the description bar below. And make sure that you subscribe to see the rest that are coming up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you again next time. Bye.